everyone thanks for stopping by and welcome back to long mind channel if you're here for the first time i'm miss davy sundar founder of teletherapies and breathe rhyme professional trade i'm a licensed psychotherapist and a respiratory physiotherapist today i'm going to dive into the fascinating world of stress and its impact on our physical and emotional well-being if you ever wondered about the connection between the mind and body and how your thoughts can shape your health then you're in the right place before i could delve into the topic if you've already not done please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified on my weekly videos without any further ado let's dive into the topic we have three types of stress that affects our body the physical stress uh, caused by injuries or trauma the chemical stress caused by the toxins or the viruses the emotional stress caused by uh tragedies uh life tragedies like um um break up in relationships the loss of a loved one or single parenting and um financial pressures um due to mortgages and um uh, uh, loss of job so those are some few examples um of the emotional stresses our body has an amazing innate capacity to maintain balance and regulation known as homeostasis you might have heard about it the autonomic nervous system which i have mentioned in my couple of previous videos located in our emotional brain that the limbic system scientifically plays a crucial role in the automatic process of uh, balancing our emotion uh, in our body it works tirelessly to bring our body back to balance after exposures to stressors but here's the catch if we constantly knock our bodies out of balance with repeated stressors the imbalance can become the new norm chronic stresses uh, especially the emotional stress is a major player here in fact a uh, staggering 75 to 90% of the healthcare visits in the western world are linked to psychological and emotional stress now here's where it gets really interesting our thoughts can trigger the release of stress hormones and the long term effects of these hormones can activate the genetic patterns affecting our internal physiological process leading to disease yes you heard it right your thoughts can make you sick numerous studies have demonstrated how stress at the molecular level can contribute to the development of certain diseases this is the epitome of mind body connection the concept of neuroplasticity further solidifies this connection our brain have the remarkable ability to recognize themselves forming new neural connections studies have shown that practicing positive emotions like gratitude can reshape neural pathways promoting overall well-being speaking of well-being let's talk about the immune system studies confirm that positive emotions including those associated with the gratitude and happiness can enhance the production of immunoglobulins a key component of our immune response the fundamental question arises if our thoughts can make us sick can they also make us well absolutely by managing our attention and energy we can break free from the cycle of negative thought patterns and emotions it is about uh, inhibiting that conditioned thoughts that keeps us stuck in that unhealthy state changing emotional state is like breaking an addiction it requires conscious efforts and persistence if resentment and anger define your current state you have the power to shift to gratitude and positivity it's about rewiring your brain and body to create a new healthier reality one powerful way to shift your emotional state is through gratitude when you practice feeling gratitude you are not just changing your emotion you are also boosting your immune system studies have shown a 50% increase in immune chemicals after just 4 days of practicing gratitude 3 times per day mindfulness practices have also gained attention in the scientific community studies have shown that mindfulness meditation can significantly reduce your stress levels by regulating the autonomic nervous system and promoting a state of relaxation 
So there you have it all. Our thoughts, emotions, and stress are intricately connected, shaping our health and well-being. By understanding this connection, we can control our lives, break free from negative thought patterns, and embrace a healthier, more balanced future. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends and family and the people you love and care in your life. Until next time, take care of your mind, body and soul. Thanks for joining on Long Mind Channel. Signing off, Devi Sundar.